Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and today we are here uh, with really something spicy, it's the tier 3 actually deck and I've got 15 win, 15 wins in a row uh, in DLV Max, it was crazy, you're gonna see some of the best replays out, out of that and this deck is really maybe one of the best choice you can have um, uh, to play this DLV to the second stage actually in a competitive way but before jumping right into it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so here with Yami Yugi and his Destiny Draw. So that's the spice. Um, I think this is the optimized version. I'm testing, I actually tested it just because this is one of, of my uh, best choices, you know, alongside the uh, Satellar Knight deck that you have already seen in one of my previous videos and that I actually used to reach the LB Max. Uh, as you can see, I finally got the third copy of Magnetic Field th thanks to uh, a lot of luck that I got with the two dollars offer with uh, for a uh, super rare. So I was pretty lucky with this. Uh, the third copy just completes the deck in the most optimal way. Um, of course, guys, there's nothing special. Uh, it's standard about playing one Berserkian, triple Delta, double Alpha, triple Gamma, and triple Beta. This is just this, they are just mandatory cards. Um, and of course also triple magnetic field it's also you know a pretty common choice as well uh, the spice comes with these guys you, you you have these five slots that you need to fill up uh, a lot of people like to fill those with uh, powerful rebirth right uh, yes uh, to, to fill up with this just because you can special summon the guys back again some other instead prefer <clears throat> super body Team Force Unite, one of my favorite cards actually, and but in my opinion this is not needed. I mean they already have such a cool engine together with the field spell uh, that allows you to special summon over and over again that I really do not think you need those those trap cards. And thinking that we're in a meta where your opponent is gonna clear the whole field before doing anything it's not just the best option in my opinion uh, considering also harpies and stuff like that um, I honestly think that relying on some hand traps and maybe some stuff like that some treacherous that is such an amazing card I think it's the best option also enemy controller is really uh, a good combination with this because uh, you can just get rid of mm, a lot of stuff that maybe you have stuck on uh, on the field and maybe you just need to to have that that in the grave to banish it with the for the effect of berserk and I think this is the optimal version in my opinion for this meta also playing these um, hand traps allows you to trigger easily your destiny draw uh, we've got also you can just play also a couple of kydroid for this and uh, we can delete this. Um, uh, you can just play a couple of um, uh, Kyderoid to uh, actually complete the set of hand traps. But I know I don't know. These just make a little bit of uh, just had some more versatility to the deck in my opinion, and can be some spicy. Um, for the extra deck instead, we've got all the classic ones: Double Gagani Guardian. These to remove the two to pop the set cards. Diamond Dialog for genetic pops. Some genetic uh, level four and uh, the only thing is that we've got nothing to deal with cards that cannot be targeted like uh, Cyber Dancer, we only have Cyber Dancer that cannot be targeted how do you deal with that? actually the only stuff you can do in with this deck is to attack directly with Nightmare Shark there, we, are, we really have nothing else um, otherwise a cool option could be to play a second Berserkian right here but it's, it's a combo pretty hard to get off. You can play double Berserkin and then a, an Overlord of Heliopolis. That can be um, a good combo, but it's really, really hard to pull these out. So I do not recommend it. I just uh, I advise you to play with the Nightmare Shark, hoping to clear the field before attacking. And then you can just get rid of Abyss Thriller and play another uh, Nightmare Shark just to make sure you have enough stuff to endure and to just get rid of your opponent with a couple of nightmare shots. This is my opinion. Um, 
just in case Luna Lights become so popular and so common in the KC Cup, this is my advice. And guys, that was all for the explanation, I don't think. Uh, of course, if you have some questions, don't be afraid of asking in the comment section down below about the combos. These are just so good. Um, and stay tuned for the replays. You're going to see some top tier plays and you're going to see how good this is. Also, you're going to see 15, win, 15 wins in a row. Let's go. There you go guys, this is the first replay, I already was a f <laughs> in a 5 win streak and this is a wonderful duel that we've got, um, this is actually non meta deck but it was pretty hard to, to uh, actually deal with this, so we've got the perfect opening with um, Gamma summoning Delta, Delta sending that to the grave, now this can be a wrong choice, I mean you can actually prefer to send the beta so that you get the effect of beta out, maybe can be the best choice but that's fine, uh, I did this just because I already had a bet in my hand so uh, of course with this you've got a monster in defense position that can benefit from the effect of the field to just return something back to hand and um, also you've got Gagani Guardian just to um, uh, to negate any monsters actually guys now that I think of it I said in the explanation that we've got nothing to do with Saber Dancer or monsters that cannot be targeted but I was wrong because of course we've got magnetic fields to deal with monsters that cannot be targeted so, just uh, <laughs> don't care about that. Uh, I was wrong. I don't know why I didn't think about Magnetic Field. It was just a mistake. I'm sorry. So, here we go. We've got the High Priestess of Prophecy. Of Prophecy. So, this is Spellbook. Uh, a pretty good deck back in the day when they first were released. But... Uh, didn't really make, they really, didn't really make a comeback with this, but look at this, I don't know if it's just luck or people that are sleeping on it, but this is really good, look at this combo, I had to negate that with my Gagani God, just not let him pop, but he's got of course the guy to have another spell book, so he can go on, he has another high priestess, so... Uh, you can summon another one and now because the effect is a soft once per turn you can use the effect back again uh, as you will see in, the, uh, in a moment because you of course he needs to send something to the grave to uh, activate the effect of the there you go of the priestess to pop a mega gunny guardian now we can go on and we're in a pretty bad spot as you can see right here uh, luckily for us we can just make one of these come back to hand and also we this has zero attack so uh, we should be safe from lethal as you can see right here uh, being uh, destroyed that come back to the hand and we only take 500 damage that's fine so we've got then the cards that will save us a battling box surveil because keep in mind guys that these can just pop can pop also your back roots so um better to begin with uh, uh and i don't know why i had this i think this was another mistake so he decided to go with that just to make my uh, better come be uh, face down and but i managed to summon this guy anyway so i can use the effect to, to summon the, the delta and that's fine i can just start again to read of the little guy um the little magician so the priestess to begin with first effect to pop something then you can summon the second Second one, so he's gonna have another pop in this turn. Oh, he, he, he actually can also see someone, but he didn't do it, so. I think it does not have anything actually relevant to XE summon, uh, I guess. And uh, so he's got another spellbook magician to add and then summon. Had another spellbook, spellbook of power. Uh, and actually, guys, this turn was about to finish me so just four turn but they are really you know consistent turn uh in which you can just do so much stuff look at that now mm, spell book of fate to banish anything i have right here i decided to send my gamma to the grave just to be able to summon berserkian and not risk to banish that so he popped the field spell it's just going all in but he can't do it because I've got my um, batting box reveal and now at this point he just surrendered. Why? Because he knows I have a Berserkian. We both know that that side card is a spell book of wisdom that cannot protect him from my Berserkian's effect. I've got tons of stuff in the grave and plus he triggered my destiny draw because I went back to down to 1900. So that's how good this deck is. Really nice duel, really nice. Here we go, my boys. We've got um, uh, the second duel right here. We've got Magnetic Field to begin with, and uh, Gamma to go into a Delta that will send Alpha again because I have already bet in my hand. So Alpha to have the Berserk, and we've got the full combo ready. And 
Gagani Guardian just to negate something. You know, these Gagani Guardians are consistently on the field is just the best option we've got. Typhoon to get rid of that, that's fine. And this is actually a, um, uh, a Blackwing. But look at that. Gagani Guardian is so useful also in this situation. Look at this combo. He's gonna have double Black Whirlwind to search, but the problem with Black Whirlwind is that you can add something with um, uh, with attack less than that monster, but as soon as he summon head, I can just uh, chain my Gagani Guardian to the, the Black Whirlwind so that the monster has zero attack and he gets to add nothing. At this point, we just won. We also draw another Magnetic Field that he just surrendered. So, this is how good Gagani Guardian can be. And there you go. This was instead my 9, uh, actually, the 10 win uh, in a row. Uh, we've got another pretty good hand, but it's in to begin. He's got a, actually a. Um, uh, mirror match, so this is nice to see how to play against your opponent that has the same cards and let, let, There you go. You've got Gamma uh, With bad of course first turn. I'm gonna go into Gagani Guardian. He decided not to I don't know why honestly So maybe he just wanted to be able to to tag out. That's fine So it's gonna use um, of course all the effect of both these monsters to get double Delta right here Get rid of one of the Delta then he's got super body team for tonight as I told you in the explanation People usually play the deck like that, but I decided just to negate that because, you know, I just have one negation per turn and next turn for sure is gonna get rid of my Gagani Guardian or, I mean, there are high chances that he can get rid of Gagani Guardian, so it's a good point to just use one of, one of the effects right now. So, no other summon right here. <clears throat> So he's not, uh, he's not got double search. Look at that. Now he summons Alpha. I can negate that once again. So he's got no access to Berserkin just to stop him. Now but I can go into Gagani Guardian. That can be a problem. He can just attack. He decided not to though. And I don't know why. But I've got a Gamma right here that he stopped as well. So that's fine. Um, because Gamma can tag out. But I've got Berserkin. Uh, I just wanted him to waste his effect. So uh, Berserkin to pop anything as you can see right here just going for a little because guys that's the thing if he plays these the trap cards i actually i'm not worried about any end drop so that's your choice one do you want to be predictable or not that's why that's the cho the the choice between end traps and spell and trap cards there you go this was my 11 win in a row so uh, pretty nice, we've got not the perfect combination right here because we have no access to a Gagani Guardian first turn, but we do have a Treacherous, so we should be chilling. There's no point in putting the Magnetic Field right here because he's just gonna pop it. So look at that, he's got Harpy's Hunting Ground to pop my back where I can just use Treacherous Trap Hole and then tag out with my Beta so to be safe. Of course, I keep in mind that in this case scenario, the only thing that can save you is an end trap. In this case, I was lucky because he didn't got the Swallow's Nest, otherwise I there were high chances that I could have lost. So, um, there you go, we've got the... he's got the Helegant uh, Egotist out, but he's got no monsters, so he cannot do anything else. I can just send a, a Gamma to the Grave, Triple Seth, uh, and he's chilling, but I've got my Magnetic Field ready to summon the Beta, Beta to summon the... Um, uh, Sorry, Gamma to summon the Beta to add another um, Electromagnetic Warrior to my hands. Ghastly Kalogar to start getting rid of some back rows, starting from this, uh, the, the, the middle one. And he's got, it's just a bluff, as you can see right here. Then I went on with my Berserkian guy to start popping everything. And look at that, he's got Amazon's Onslaught. This was actually pretty unexpected, but I'm chilling because thanks to Magnetic Field, I can just make this guy come back to hand and then I can just swing for little. That's how you do it. Magnetic field makes the difference. There you go. This was my 14th win in a row. That's just some crazy, uh, some crazy shit, guys, like right here. So we've got a very good stuff to begin with. Delta to send the bed in, the, in this moment. So, of course, Magnetic Field is going to revive the bed. to add a uh, alpha to my hand. So um, we can just set our two semi-limited back rows and we are in a very good spot. He's got the very Magician Girl. And look at this crazy play. So he's just going to set a card in the end phase. Look at that. Better's effect to 
uh, summon the the uh, the delta. Then I'm gonna use delta's effect, of course. Okay, enemy controller. Now he's got two points here. Now, right? He can. I targeted this to take control. Now he can use the effect, but if he uses the effect, I can just tra chain treacherous, and because then the magician girl does not change position because it gets destroyed first, it does not get the effect out. He knew I had something else, but the point is that without doing nothing, I can just take control of that, use treacherous, and because this is now treated as my monster, it's me that decides to activate the effect whether or not, so if you just get rid of that. So the point, its only mistake was to face something like me that I've got so much experience with magician girls that I perfectly knows how to play against them. So at this point you can just do nothing. Alpha to add the Berserkian and that's just with spicy plays like this that you can perform well in the KC Cup. There you go. Last but not least, the 15th win in a row. Look at that. So, uh, Zane is not Cyber Dragons. We know there are no more Cyber Dragons uh, out on the ladder. We've got uh, not the perfect hand to begin with. Actually, we're pretty. Uh, I was afraid because I didn't know what he could play. Maybe he could play something like Lunalize. That's why I played uh, Magnetic Field because I didn't feel safe just with Enemy Controller. So, instead, it's just a meme deck with Cyber Dark and all this stuff. So, uh, Cyber Dark Edge to add the Cyber Dark Cannon, double set, and he's gonna attack, and can just summon my Delta, and he decided to attack though, but directly, so that's why I just put that in defense, so I can just get rid of him really easily. So, there you go, Magnetic Field to add to summon the Beta, this was a mistake actually, I should have used this after, but that's fine, we've got the Alpha to add the Berserkian. And then we can just go into an XC summon into Gagani Guardian. I don't know why I wasn't afraid of these stuff. I just decided to pop those. As soon as you negate the effect, these comes, you know, uh, can pop because these cannot be equipped from uh, with nothing. So then, second effect to pop that, and he's got Pulse Mines to just stop me. So there's nothing I could do. I can just attack with Delta because it was summoned the previous turn. That's why I could put it in attack position. But anything I would have just summoned would have put in defense position. So it's got the skill, another cyber duck stuff. But what he does not know is that on summon I can just negate that, so he's not gonna keeping anything. I'm sorry, my man. So um, just another back row, and now I can just do my stuff. I can just summon a berserk and start getting rid of all the back rows he's got. He's got double super body team force unite, as you can see right here. And um, so I can just attack at this point, hoping he has no uh, hand traps, and he does not. And that's how you do it. So that was all, guys. Uh, actually, to um, uh, I know you could you could be curious about that. I lost the 16th match against. A, a, a Gaia player that I do, I did not begin with Gagani Guardian and I lost because he's got not only the the, the magical knight on first turn it what it was him to begin but he also got a treacherous and was actually the treacherous that scooped me out and I lost so that's uh, how I lost the 16th match in a row uh, so my, actually I lost my win in a row. So guys, that was all for today's video. So I hope these these um, decks can actually help you with uh, with performing well in the KC Cup. Of course, if you have some questions, feel free to ask me whatever you want in comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, see you in the next one.